Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. I am Amalgam Ash, and this is The Burning Wind, a post-apocalyptic RPG. This is a game demo slash work in progress created by Shar and submitted to the Smile Game Builder Returners 2022 Jam. Let's dig in. Now, full disclosure, I was able to help Shar learn how to create some of these events and things. Uh, but this is all her vision. This is The Burning Wind, a game by Shar. Story co authored by Shar and The Right Way. I've met The Right Way, he's a nice guy. Special Assets by Jackson Mayra. Investigate the area. WASD to move, space to interact. Those of you who play SGB games know the drill here. We have a nice slow character speed, which I really like. And Char has created an oasis. So we've got good use of very nice foliage, vegetation, water, in what appears to be a very hot desert. And there's even some custom assets going on too. We've got tracks in the sand for our our, uh, our wagon. Don't know why we're stopped, but we're going to investigate the area. And there's lighting as well. Um, I don't see the uh, spotlights used in SGB very often, and this is this is nice because it really gives you the feel of the bright, hot desert. And this is not Unity or anything like that, by the way. This It's just vanilla Smile Game Builder. So, let's head straight for the first shiny sparkly. Looks like a set of beast prints. They seem to head west. Let's head west. It would have been cool, I think, to put the compass in the corner of the screen. I see you. Shiny sparkly, you are. You are hiding very well. We don't want to turn the camera too much because I want to make sure I keep my orientation. Looks like a set of beast prints. They seem to head northwest. So this is based on a story that essentially the collaboration between Char and her friend and I know that it, it has some depth to it. They spent a long time working on it. The tracks stop here and double back to the east. The east, they double back to the east. Do I need to go around here? We can run a little bit, I suppose. Aha! You find deep set prints in the mud crossing the small stream. Ah, I see you. I think we found our beast. Here, beastie, beastie, beastie. Before we do that, though, before we in in interact, let's take just another little exploration. Let's check out the rest of this bright, hot map. Ah, I don't like sand. It gets everywhere. That's not the quote. Yeah, this is truly, this is truly a desert oasis very rare and we're hungry I guess so let's take down this beast I'm the placeholder <laughs> prepare to get your ass kicked scrub monster appeared oh my god all right so got any skills no skills we are maidenless any items no items we are itemless let's attack dire wolf you miss you scrub you're the scrub Ow. I can take a few more of those. Ow. Oh. And I believe I've come to the point in the game that some of the other players have 
complained about. They said I can't beat the wolf. Well, I, I happen to know better. You're not supposed to be able to beat the wolf. You were defeated. Damn, looks like I had to save you again. Not like I needed it. Now help me get this mess cleaned up. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Thanks for playing my little demo. Hope you found something you enjoyed. Please feel free to check out the town. Hooray! That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna look around this little town before we before we hop off and take a look at Char's design skills and see how far they came. Like I said, I helped her with some of the events and some of the basics on how to place things, select and place some of the graphical assets and objects and put down collision separately as needed, but this is all her. She spent a long time painstakingly designing this town, which is kind of a classic spaghetti western style town where there's just kind of a road in the middle, buildings on the left and right, carefully selecting the assets from several Jackson Mayra packs, even putting attention into behind the buildings. There's a lovely windmill. There's a lot going on here. Her, um, It's clear that Char is the kind of person who plays something like ESO and designs houses for her characters and such. So there's just stuff everywhere, but it, it fits. It makes sense. I like it. I like it a lot. It would be nice if this does get further developed after the jam, which it could. And then she would have a very pretty work in progress. And I know that the story that her and the right way wrote, it goes on quite a bit. Like I said, it's a it's a deep thing, so. And it explains more about this post-apocalyptic world and you get to know the characters a lot more. So, that's all for now. Um, thank you very much for watching. I hope that you had a chance to kind of play through this, run around, take some notes on possible design conventions for your game and maybe get some inspiration and with the cinematography at the beginning as well so again thank you for watching thank you to Shar for submitting this game and I will see you tomorrow I hope you have a fantastic day until then bye for now